Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Nermod. I'm officially doing a post commentary for you guys today. We're gonna be going over a little bit of the Medal of Honor beta that has just been released for Xbox 360, PS3, and PC as of the 5th of this month. So, you know, without further ado, guys, I'm gonna give you the main gist of it, and then we're gonna jump into the weapon loadout and just the main topic in general. So, for the weapon I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be using the DDMK18 SOG. But that gun is also on the Swedish SOG Spec Ops team, so if you want to, you know, I guess, coordinate or follow along with what the gameplay is showing you guys, you can kind of figure that out and go from there and find the weapon of your particular choice and or the team that inherited the weapon. For the attachments, I'll be using the Magpul CTR stock, the M90 uh, Knight, which is kind of... A really cool concept it's basically like night vision but you can see through walls so in a general sense if you want to relate it to a movie sense it's like predator you know alien versus predator how they can see heat signatures and all this yeah uh, let's say there's a concrete wall in front of you you can flip up on the xbox 360 controller and ps3 analog stick and it'll basically start up your I guess ability in a general sense so that's kinda cool it only lasts for like two seconds but in a, another sense I guess you could say the cooldown time is about 10 to 15 seconds. I'm actually not 100% on that, but I do realize that it is very quick. And it's just a circular motion in which it fills up the bar again. I'll be using the uh, uh, muzzle breaker, and then I'll be using the BO round, I'm sorry, 30 round magazine. I'm going to be using the 5.56 millimeter uh, P mag, which just standard ammunition, the 5.56 millimeter round does quite a bit of damage towards infantry units, and it's one of, it's a pretty powerful round to hit a, you know, character, I guess, in a video game, but in a real life sense, you definitely want to, wouldn't want to get hit by something like this. But then again, what would you want to get hit by? A round is still going to severely injure the user. I'll be using lightweight barrel on my weapon which increases my mobility which is extremely useful if you are a run and gun player, if you like to get around the maps in a fast manner, if you want to evade situations at all costs, I highly recommend this uh, specialization. The reason I say all this guys is one, it increases your mobility, so in a general sense you're increasing that and again you have more mobility to move around, get around the map faster, your speed is increased, you're not as sluggish, so it kind of takes away that uh, quote-unquote, you know, battlefield feel and puts it more in a Call of Duty sense. You have that ability to go lightweight, theoretically. Another thing that's really cool about it, if you are a player that is used to high sensitivities or you've adapted into Medal of Honor's sensitivity scales, you can actually set it up pretty high, I'd say anywhere between 75 to 100 percent, you know, max the bar. And overall, if you get into a situation in which you run out of ammo or you realize that you just can't win, if you flip around real quick and start sprinting away and doing some serpentining, you can actually invade situations extremely well in this game. It's actually one game that I, you know, I've never had this happen. Battlefield 3 is not so forgiving about serpentining and GTFOing, but Again, Call of Duty at the same expense as two bullets and you're dead, so you definitely can't really evade situations in Call of Duty. But in Medal of Honor, it seems to give you a little bit more of a chance, considering that the guns don't do like 50% damage towards your overall health status. And again, it's just really nice to have that ability to get out of situations in which you know you cannot win. I'm also using the UFB, which unfortunately I don't know what that is, but I know it's a specialization on my weapon. A lot of this, guys, I am still new to. The beta has only been out for about 24 hours as of the making of this commentary on the 6th. So, again, not everything is completely synchronized into my memory, and I do not know exactly what all this stuff means. But I get the main gist of it. I've had enough time to experiment with it and get the main you know, concept of what it's trying to introduce into the series. I'm also using the small holographic, which I find to be very effective. I find that most of the iron sights in Medal of Honor seem to be very uh, obscured. They're not very well constructed, I guess you could say. Again, the graphics in this game is not very high definition. It's not like Battlefield or SOCOM, Ghost Recon, anything like that that spends days and days into their multiplayer and puts thousands of hours into every single you know, pixel of uh, animation and you know, graphical design. But again, it's still better than Call of Duty, I would say, in a general sense. But again, that is my opinion, and it might just be because of its more colored and more, uh, I guess, aesthetic feel to it. But 
that's an opinion that's not exactly factored for you guys. I'm interested to see if you guys have played Medal of Honor Warfighter, the game that you guys are obviously watching before your eyes and seeing just the main opinion on the game, the graphical and I guess you'd say audio aspects of it. So I'm going to go into, I guess, what I thought of Medal of Honor going into it. I really didn't care, to be honest. Medal of Honor has not had a very good history these last couple of years with their first one that DICE jumped in and did multiplayer, which failed extremely bad. I would say, in a general sense, I know more, or most people were not very pleased with the outcome of it, which is unfortunate because it had, you know, it had really good games before it back in PS2, and I presume Xbox, but I could be incorrect on that. I don't know if it was the original Xbox or the 360 that adapted this stuff. But overall, I do realize that the original Medal of Honors were probably my favorite. They were extremely well constructed, even though back then I was pretty young. And, you know, anything that you could shoot somebody was pretty much the dopest thing in the world to me at that age. But, again, I enjoyed the original Medal of Honors. And it was unfortunate that the first one had a giant flop and failed, in at least my eyes. And, you know, the second one, I think, is a good competitor, but I don't think it's going to go up against the AAA titles of, you know, this year or last year for that sake of the matter. And, which is unfortunate, but who knows, this is only the beta. Battlefield 3, the beta was extremely poorly constructed as well, so only time will tell if that is fixed and adjusted to satisfy the need of the customer. I would say when I first jumped on, I was extremely frustrated by the first weapon I got. It had a times 4 optic, and that was just really unfortunate because I don't like stuff like that. I wanted a red dot. You know, I wanted to have the ability to lock onto targets at a higher rate. But after playing a few games and actually unlocking some of the quote-unquote good gear in the game, you actually kind of get that aspect that you're like, oh, well, this game isn't so bad. It just sucks at first. So if anyone's struggling out there and you're hating the game, I... You know, give it another try. Give it a try. Put a couple hours into it. You'll unlock so much gear. It's unbelievable. And the game will actually become a much better constructed game than it is when you first pop it in and start playing the demo or beta. But overall, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I do realize this is Medal of Honor, and it's not exactly Battlefield for my Battlefield community, guys. And overall, in just a general sense, it's definitely not something that has been talked about on my channel. So I hope you guys took this over very well. I'm interested to see your guys' comments and your overall opinions about the matter. I have gotten a few more gameplays, so those will be coming up soon if you are interested in such topic. But unfortunately, guys, the gameplay is going to be coming to an end again, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. And this is going to be Nermode on. Signing off. Peace, guys.